At the turn of the new century, on a warm August night in the year 2000, on the eve of the company's centennial, the descendants of Harvey Firestone gathered with company leaders and employees to rededicate the statue of the company's founder. From his perch on South Main Street, he had overseen 100 years of progress. In 1928, a thousand of the country's industrialists were asked to select the pioneers of American industry. Edison, Ford, Eastman, and Firestone. Harvey Firestone was born on a farm in Columbiana, Ohio in 1868. He came to Akron in 1900 at age 32 to sell tires. Thirty years after Dr. Goodrich had brought his rubber company to Akron, there were already eight companies making rubber and elastic products in Akron. But no one could sell tires like the farm boy from Columbiana. He launched the Firestone Tire and Rubber Company on August 3, 1900 with $50,000 in capital. Six years later, he was selling a million dollars of tires each year. Having received his first order from the Ford Motor Company of Detroit for 2,000 sets of tires, he was well on his way. Two characteristics would forever mark the company Harvey Firestone founded, innovation and an insistence on quality. With Harvey himself as the innovator-in-chief, Firestone developed the first straight-sided pneumatic tire, the first demountable rim, the first ever non-skid tread, a process to gum dip cotton cords to keep them from internal heat, which then led to the balloon tire that could extend mileage using lower tire pressure. In 1911, Harvey responded to a request from his Indianapolis sales office by agreeing to put his tires on cars in the first 500-mile sweepstakes. Not only did Firestone Tires win that year, but in every single Indy 500 from 1920 to 1966, the winner came home on Firestones. He was an industry pioneer in other ways as well. In 1916, he brought the eight-hour day to his Akron factory. He created homes for his managers and employees in a new development called Firestone Park. Harvey Firestone remembered his roots. And in 1932, he put the farmer on rubber tires for the first time, creating a whole new line of products that would also improve American agriculture. With the encouragement of his friends Thomas Edison and Henry Ford, there was no more important innovation that would revolutionize America than the movement he headed in 1913 to improve the country's highways. By 1925, the federal government was investing a billion dollars each year in new highways. Firestone's ship by truck campaign not only created heightened efficiency for American manufacturers getting their products to market, but created a whole new industry of long-distance trucking, which would be founded by two Akron brothers. Harvey Firestone died in 1938 at the age of 70. His sons carried on his business and dedicated the statue to their father on the company's 50th anniversary. Today, the statue overlooks the $100 million Bridgestone Technology Center in Akron. It's a company that attracted the largest investment ever in an American company by a Japanese firm. Harvey and the Firestone name remain the name that's known. Where the rubber meets the road.